Hey y'all. All right, so here is the update. I just got pulled into the driveway from um, the HSG. Uh, woo, that was different. Um, it was a mixture of what I expected because I've heard horror stories about how painful it was and I heard stories about how it wasn't even all that. So I'm gonna try to do this really quick because my phone is at 9%. All right. So I went in at like 12.45, I got there. Uh, my HSG wasn't till like 2.40, but they told me to get there at 1.40, long story. Anyway, so I got there at 12.45, they called me back at like three o'clock and I was done by 3.45. The procedure itself, pretty much, I mean, if it took 10 minutes, like, it took 10 minutes at the most. Um, when I got back there, I took everything off except my bra and put on their gowns and all that stuff, put a hair net on or a hair, whatever. Um, so I laid back, it was like five women in there. Yeah, including the doctor, so six women. I don't know why, but six. Um, they shot the dye in there, that speculum, oh. Ugh, it didn't hurt, but it was like, ugh, I, I don't know if I was meant to stretch like that. <laughs> okay, so let me stop. All right, so they put the catheter in and then, well, the tube, whatever, and shot the dye in. Now, when they shot the dye in, well, sorry, when they put the catheter in, I was like, ugh, a little crampy, ugh, ugh. But it's fine because I cramp all the time. Anyway, when they shot that dye in, it wasn't like excruciating pain, but it was like enough pain to be like, oh, I'm alive, you know? <laughs> so as soon as I felt it, I was like, woo! And the doctor was like, just take a deep breath and cough one good time for me. So I, oh gosh, I was like, okay. <laughs> and I coughed. <laughs> oh, that was an ugly thing. Um, and that was it. And then we were looking at it. I don't even too much know what I was looking at. But you know what, you ladies, it is so important for you to know your body because as soon as she got the speculum in, I asked her, do y'all hear this rain? I'm, I'm trapped in my car. Um, but I asked her, I was like, is my, the opening of my cervix, is it more to the left? And she was like, well, from where I'm looking, it's centered. So when they got the x-ray up, she was like, oh, actually everything is to the left so my cervix my tubes like my whole workup was off to the left and she's like how do you know that and i was like like check so it's so important for you guys to check your lady bits because they're your lady bits you should know what's going on in your bits okay <laughs> but yeah so that was it i you know tuck my after we're done i tuck my um gown in between my legs and i waddled to the room to change my clothes i had one of my cutest cloth pads um that makes me happy just for this occasion and um i put my clothes on and they gave me a printout of my uterus hopefully i have enough time to show you so if y'all know what you're looking at, please let me know. They, everybody was happy. They're like, oh, good news. I don't know if it's good news my tubes were blocked and now they're not, or good news they're blocked and that might be the reason we haven't gotten pregnant, but it's an easy fix. I don't know, but here, oh, there it is. So the big white,